Hey, what up everyone? I'm Sinihu, and this is Gems of War. And today, I have three teams for you for the Underspire, Divinion Fields Underspire Restriction. Uh, not the greatest one ever, but hey, we're gonna make it work here. High, mid, and low, let's start with the high-level team. Alright, we got the Herdmaster, Eye of Orion, Astral Mother, and Immortal Sagittarian. Um, not a big fan of the Immortal Sagittarian, but, uh, yeah, there's nothing else really to go with that went with this team. We're trying to do true damage on this team, so we got two mana generators up top. We got two true damage troops on the bottom. We got the Mother, and we got, uh, the Father, I guess. I don't know. We can tell who wears the pants in this family, uh, the Astral Mother. Um... Hits a little bit harder, and she's pretty weak, so I don't know. Maybe my Immortal Sagittarian isn't leveled up or something because I wasn't going super hard in PvP, but he's got extra stats this week and everything, and he just felt super, super weak for me. Uh, I tried him in the Journey event, and he did not feel as strong as Astral Mother. Plus, I was trying to loop with Astral Mother, so I wanted to remove some gems off the board that weren't uh, part of the looping. Um, so, went with her, and I think she's a little bit better than him, unless you have him, like, super leveled up with a bunch of stats, maybe. And, like, the weapon and the pet and all that stuff, maybe. But, them together for this one is what I went with for the Underspire, because we don't have to use the Journey Troop, so might as well go all in on true damage. He's getting blocked down there, but I'm mostly using Astral Mother. So, Herdmaster and, um... I have Orion to get up Astro Mother, cast Astro Mother. Just early on, I'm taking off the color that's the most numerous on the board so she can do more damage. Later on, I might take a color off the board that I don't use, like blue, I think, is the color I don't use. Um, we got Arch Magus because we have three purples on our team. We're doing double purple brown minus blue because we're using no blue. Um, oh, I have Orion has a summon in case you lose Herdmaster. Herdmaster has a cleanse. Should be okay, should be okay. But, you know, give it a give it a whirl and let me know what you think. All right, here's the mid-level team going with Artema once again. I do have a journey video out there with high, mid, and low on it. If you're looking for journey teams, pretty difficult one. Um, went with Artema again. You know, Divinion Field restrictions, Centaur restrictions. She might, you might have to roll her out there. Um... You know, for if you don't have the high-level stuff like Astral Mother or um, Immortal Sagittarian and stuff like that. But she's pretty good, man. She hits the two weakest enemies. She does. She blows up a, an entire row. Like, explodes an entire row. She has 40%, like, dodge and, and armor piercing and extra stats if she's in first slot. So, putting her in first slot, kind of going all in on her. But we also have Herdmaster, who's pretty much good for everything this week. You might as well throw him on your team and just build a team around him. He's like the best mana generator cleanser. Um, we got the, uh, I forget what the weapon's called there, but it's, um, you have to be Oracle class because it is based on Divinion Field's allies. Um, I think it's the Rose Bow. The Rose Bow. It has roses on it, and it's a bow, so it's probably the Rose Bow. Um, but it does damage. And it puts, um, I think, yellow and yellow and blue. So we're really just looking for the yellow. Um, but it does damage, which is great. Um, the Ragnagord on the bottom for more mana generation using red. Just pick any color you want there. Just pick whatever's the, the most on the board that will help your team. And then blow up pretty much the whole board. So mana generating uh, with the Herdmaster and the Ragnagord, and then we're doing damage with the Artema and the Rose Bow. And the Rose Bow is going to put a bunch of yellow up there because we're uh, Oracle class and our whole team is Divinion Field. So that's what I was thinking for mid-level. If you don't have any of the Mythics, uh, try this out. Artema, Herdmaster, Rose Bow, Ragnagord, Oracle class, and you saw the banner. Just pause if you need the team code. Because I know you guys are smart. I know you're smart. All right. So, low-level team. No Mythic, no Legendary. What are you gonna do for the Underspire? So, first thing I would say is if you're a low-level player just starting the Underspire, don't get too worried about going to, like, the 7th boss. I would, uh, you know, do your free torches first. Um, you know, try to make it to the 2nd boss. If you're really feeling frisky, maybe try to get to the 4th boss. But, this is my best uh, team I could think of that wasn't mythic or legendary to help low level players we got herdmaster again he's on six out of six teams that i've made so far uh journey and underspire so herdmaster throw him over there then we have um 
Rose Bow again. Just, you have to use Dominion Fields weapons, and there's not that much to go with. Uh, we got Nightwing, and we got Ragnagord. So I went with the Mana Generating Sandwich of Herdmaster and Ragnagord, and then I got two single target damage dealers, but they both put up, you know, gems onto the board that we actually use. So the Rose Bow's putting yellow and blue up there. Yellow for Herdmaster, blue for Nightwing. Then Nightwing will put up, I think, yellow and purple. So yellow for Herdmaster, purple for Herdmaster, purple for itself. I think, anyway. I forget what it puts up there. But it puts some combination that's good, good for the team. I should probably look into that stuff before I make a video. But I'm trying to get this out as quick as possible today. Because somebody got on my nerves. And I think I'm going to make pre-records from now on. And live stream. I'm going to do both. How about that? Um, we got Herdmaster, Rosebow, Nightwing, Ragnagord. So just do your best, man. Um, the Herdmaster will cleanse. You can take Skulls if you want. Um, the Rosebow. We're just putting up a bunch of colors that we need. We're doing damage um, a little bit at a time, kind of chipping them down. Just, you know, single target damage eventually is not going to one-shot. So you're going to have to, like, maybe hit the first slot and then hit the first slot with Skulls. And then, you know, go from top to bottom. If you're facing a dragon, you might want to target down the dragon first. If you're on a dragon, like the first dragon, second dragon, third, fourth dragon, maybe shoot at the dragon first and get that out of there and then go from the top to the bottom. But yeah, if you're a low-level player, good luck. Uh, use a Medal of Anu because you got to use Oracle, which isn't a 50% start. Uh, but yeah, like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your guild about the channel. Comment below, and I will see y'all at the live stream. Peace.